<coughs> praise God, praise the name of the living God. I am back once again. I, I am Lois Mulama and this is God will fix it. If you are a, if you are a new subscriber, if you are a new member, please welcome, welcome and feel at home. If you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. Let me tell you one thing about liking. You see, if you like this video, if it will reach to 10 people, okay, like it will go to 20 and the, the video will have a bigger impact kama kama iko na likes and like kama ina likes so please like the video please subscribe and join the family thank you so much for my returning viewers for for my family i love you so much thank you for your support thank you thank you people have surprised me thank you so much um uh, we are doing let me let me enlighten those enlighten those who are joining us we are doing a 3 a.m prayer uh, it's not 3 a.m actually i am i am away i'm not at home and i uh i have had the i've had this free time i only have like a few minutes so i had to do this quick araka araka, then i go back to, to church so um what was i saying yeah we are doing a 3 a.m prayer 3 a.m. prayer. We are waking up 3 a.m. to pray for 30 days. I think we are in day six. We are praying. We are, we have decided that we are rising. The dry bones has to rise again. We are we are receiving revival. We are feeling revived and energetic. And I want to believe each and every one of you is receiving the blessings. Now, the reason as to why I came before you today to encourage you you see ever since we, we started this 3 a.m prayer for those who have been consistent and trying even if you've done it for two days it is it still has an impact and for those who have been with me from day one to day six today we still have an impact and god is going to do to do miraculous things now there are, there are things that are holding us back there are things that are, maybe they are making us not to to be able to wake up to pray not to be able to read the word that we only read the word of god on sunday bishop Aksema, open with me the book of psalms that is where you when you open and when you close that is the end of you and so some of us do not even have bibles you don't even go to church with bibles i keep pardon my my poor lighting we don't even have Bibles, so we don't even read the word. But I'm telling you today, the impact that you've been making by waking up to pray 3 a.m., the demons, the, the spirits are trembling, and your light. You see, when you go to God and you're, you're consistent and you persevere and you pray and you, you sacrifice all this, God is going to reward you. And you're going to receive the light of God to direct you. And that light is affecting each and everything that has been holding you bound. I had a, a dream. Was it a dream or a vision? There was this this key thing that was telling me your light, your light is affecting me. And we are not we have not even started. We are not even today fifteen yet. And already they are trembling. I want us to make this these spirits to tremble and to leave us alone. For us to be successful, for us to go where we were ordained to be by the power of God, where we were sent to serve by the mighty name of Jesus. You see, some of us we are in the places where we were not supposed to be. At now, we are supposed to be ten miles ahead. Our bishop was saying that you are dying at seventy and you You've not planted even a single tree meaning you are dying at 70 there is nothing that you can say you did or you have done okay at maybe you are your early 30s late 30s 20s by now you should have done atakama nikamoja atakama nikamoja too but you have nothing to be proud of like me i've done this in my life uh -uh. Uh -uh. So there are some things that are holding us back. So today, today we are speaking against those spirits that are holding us bound. They are letting us lose in the mighty name of Jesus. And I am encouraging you, keep on doing this 3 a.m. prayer, even if it is midnight. Wake up and pray. Even if it is for 10 minutes, just speak to God. Speak to your Father. And with the time, you will grow. With the time, you'll be able to to withstand uh, a one hour prayer a two hour prayer with time things will be easier and we'll be able to grow please let us join into this let us wake up 3 a.m and i'm telling you you will see open doors you will be a witness you'll be a witness with me that god is really working that god uh, is a miracle worker and behind the scenes god is working in the mighty name of jesus so trust in god believe in god and do sacrifice you 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 have to jesus himself himself sacrificed his own life you only have to sacrifice your sleep or at times say i'm not taking lunch today i'm skipping lunch just to sacrifice just to pray sacrifice and god will come through for you and you will see god in greater and miraculous way you will not regret so kindly 
what, what was I saying? I'm quite distracted, kidogo. So kindly join into this. Wake up to pray. Sacrifice. Read the word of God. Achini kusoma Bible on Sunday peke yake. Stop reading the word of God on Sunday peke yake. Open the word of God and read the word of God. You will receive guidance. And 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 live a, a, a straight life. We'll talk about sometimes later. Lead a good life and God will bless you. Shalom. May the peace of God be with you. May God be with you and cover you and give you strength and grace to do this in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for staying up to this point. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like and remember to share. And God will bless you.